Good afternoon, everyone. How's everyone doing? Great to be here today at Utah. Thanks for inviting. So today, I'm going to be talking about a topic that is close to my heart. How many of you spend more time fixing your weaknesses? How many of you spend time focusing on improving your strengths? Looks like a lot more people focusing on your weaknesses. And today, I hope I can change your mind. My argument would be weaknesses are perfectly fine. Focus on your strength. Some of you may agree, some of you may not agree, but let's go on. All of us have weaknesses. Who doesn't have weakness in this hall? Anyone? I don't see any hand, right? So all of us have weaknesses. Different of our weaknesses, certain things that we may not be good at, we may have not an interest at, or things that doesn't, just doesn't work. But all of us have weaknesses. No one don't have weaknesses. So why is it weaknesses such a big problem? So what if we have lots of weakness? Right? We may, all of us know, look at ourselves and we know that, hey, I actually may have a bunch of weaknesses. All the people around me do have a bunch of weaknesses. Even great leaders out there have lots of weaknesses. So is it a really a big problem if I have lots of weaknesses? Is it a problem if I have some weaknesses? Can we live with our weaknesses? So in our deathbed one day, hopefully not so soon, will people remember our weakness? Right? People may or may not, right? I don't think so. I don't think people at that point will remember, hey, I have a weakness, I usually turn up five minutes late for an event. Maybe I have a weakness that I don't submit my homework. Maybe I have a weakness that I'm a bit more emotional. I'm not saying that those are perfect. But in a whole life, weaknesses is actually okay. Weaknesses is fine if you're just not good at doing something. I'm bad at drawing. So what? I'm not the best in mathematics. Maybe I can't be the super calculator, but so what? Maybe I'm not good at details. Maybe I'm too detailed and not good at big picture. It is perfectly fine if we are not good at a certain skill set. Weaknesses of that is perfectly fine. The next one is that a lot of time we see a weakness because we ourselves set the expectation very high. So I will argue that weakness is fine if our own expectation standard set is high. We want ourselves to get a score of 100. Our weakness is we get a score of 98. Maybe it's okay. We want to be able to live a fantastic life. But we are able to live a quite an okay life. That's okay. And I think a lot of times, we feel that we are weak in something because we expect ourselves very high. And that adds on to the pressure of our life. And I'm going to say that, accept that weakness. We are fine. It's okay that we didn't hit our personal high expectations. Weakness is fine if others have a different perspective on us. Sometimes, we actually think that we're doing okay. But others, could be our friends, could be our colleagues, could be our parents, could be our lecturers, could be someone. They think that we need to be certain more. Could think that we need to be a certain type of character, certain type of attitude, certain type of achievement. In that sense, we may satisfy ourselves, but we are afraid that others are not proud of us. Others do not look upon us. Maybe others do not praise us. Maybe others don't think we are the best person in the world. But so what? Maybe it's okay to accept that the weakness is fine. If others have just a different perspective on us, they think they set different expectations on us. We don't need to live a life for others. Weakness is fine 
if these weaknesses are not harming your strength. All of us have strength as well. And if these weaknesses are not the ones that are going to stop us from achieving our great strength. Right, so for example, our great strength is running 100 meters. And maybe our weaknesses is that our hand is not strong enough. But that doesn't harm us from running the fastest 100 meter. So maybe that is fine. So a lot of us have different things that we want to achieve and based on our strength. But that weakness may not be the one that hinder us from achieving that. So that could be what to accept that. Weakness is fine if it's not stopping you from achieving your dream. You want to be a lawyer, you want to be an accountant, you want to be a prime minister. Your, if your weakness is not going to be the one that's going to stop you from realizing your full potential, it is fine. Accept the weakness. Okay to have those weakness. And maybe you're now wondering, if it's okay to accept all these weaknesses, maybe then we live in a mediocre world. But what I'm arguing is that all the time that we spend thinking about weaknesses, all the time that we spend fixing our weaknesses, we could utilize it for other purposes. Because all of us only have 24-7. All of us have limited time. All of us have limited focus. Doing less of something means we have more time, more resources, more energy for something else. And instead of fixing weaknesses, I would like to argue, I would like to encourage, I would like to challenge everyone to focus on your strengths. Everyone here has strengths. And how can we focus on our strengths? Focus on our strengths. Straightforward makes our strength even better. Practice makes perfect. If you are great at doing math, focus on that more. That will make you a bet having better math. If you've been a very hardworking person, focus on that. If you have a strong integrity, focus on that. Focus on what you are good at and make it even better. Focus on strength might get us to be expert or world class. Set your benchmark, not just among your classmates, not just among your UNIC mates, not just among the country mates. Set it to the global standard. Whatever you want to do, how can you benchmark against the world best? How can you be world number one in what you want to do? And the only way you can get there is focus on it. Focus on what you're really great at. Fixing your weakness will not make you world number one. Focus on your strength will enable you to get you to be the world number one. If today, if you're a great 100 meter runner, to get to world number one, just train harder, better techniques, better style, and get there with a better coach, hard, more hardworking training to be the best 100 meter runners. Focus on strength also makes others admire us. Just now we talk about Others may have perspective that affect us. But on the other way, if you focus on the strength, maybe if we care about what others think about us, others may be admiring more about us. Others may look up more upon us. And that will help us to, to feel better about ourselves as well. Focus on strength as well. Make us live happier and maybe healthier. Imagine that we do what we're good at, we'll feel happier. A lot of people say, Passion. Passion a lot of times comes from doing things that we are great at. Doing things that we are amazing at makes us feel more passionate, happier. And a lot of times, all this would help us to achieve our dream. We want to be a world best pilot. Work towards that. Focus on what we are great at and get there. In everything that we do, how can we look at what we are great at? and spend almost all of our time. At the start, this time we ask, how many of you are focusing on your weaknesses? Many of us do. And I hope that what we can think of is, how can we turn some of those attention, some of those time, some of those resources that we spend 
on fixing our weaknesses, to turn it, to read up about our strength, to study about our strength, discuss further about our strength, take action on our strength, and work harder on our strength, and make our strength much, much, much better. And with this, a call upon everyone to take that step forward. Take that step forward to focus on our strength. I think most of us here know what is our strength. Identify that and take concrete steps to focus a lot more on that, even 30 minutes a day, and see how can we really take it to the next level. And I'd like to call upon everyone to accept our own weaknesses. It is okay to have weaknesses. It is okay to be not perfect. Accept that. And let's be agent of change. If you believe, if you are convinced by this, you can also be an agent of change. You can be out there to influence, convince others. And you can be an example for many people out there. You can be the one that others look upon. You can be the one that make everyone achieve their dream better by accepting that weakness is perfectly fine. Let's focus on your strength. And with this, I hope that everyone pick up a point or two here. Remember, weakness is perfectly fine. Focus on your strength. Thank you.